lovely to see you all. You're all well. Welcome to the show. Thank Very you. Very nice, yes. And uh, now, yes. this is unusual, ladies and gentlemen. We don't often have this. On the couch tonight, a celebrity couple. Yes. <laughs> Who is it? I know. We <laughs> wanted to make it <laughs> <laughs> it sparks flew backstage. <laughs> it's incredible. And it was John and Emily. Not just a couple, they're married. <laughs> and are you like Brangelina or, you know, Benifer or well, we were Jedward? Sort of, no, our, our uh, name is uh, Crunt, yep. we've decided. <laughs> I see how you got there, I'm not sure why. <laughs> it was Blunsinski. Yeah. It just seemed, seemed, you know, long and long, long winded. So Crunt felt efficient and sort of. <laughs> Do you use Crunt a lot? <laughs> Every restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your book? on the back available for Crunt. <laughs> yeah. We sometimes send out Christmas cards, like, Christmas with the Crunts, come have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna go wrong, really. That's why I like it, just living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking of names, Kylie, such a famous name, mm. and you know, Kylie, you are mm. Kylie. Mm. There's mm. no, you are mm. Kylie. But you've been to court. You are now definitely Kylie. Have you trained? I'm most definitely Kylie. I'm going to remain Kylie. Was there a question that you might have to change your name? No. 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 Um, but there's there's a, a very famous another Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Only no, one Kylie, no. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Only one well. Kylie. Um, no, there was a there was a um, a settlement. We came to an agreement just okay. so that, that things are clear if it's a Kylie Jenner product or a Kylie Minogue product. Okay. Oh. And does Kylie Jenner does she kind of own? North America, and you own the rest of the world. <laughs> Shit, get final, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. that seems fair. That seems like Why fair not? enough yeah. agreement. Because yeah. I yeah. love, I love it here. Yeah, so. feeling that Crunt might be. <laughs> yeah, you need to trademark Crunt. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know, yeah. Yeah. The Crunt perfume. Uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Smell like the Crunt. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what is that aroma, Crunt? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Uh, yeah, Keep going. Exactly. Tom, now, Tom Holland, <laughs> Tom Holland, uh, obviously, you know, your name, Tom Holland, yes. here is Day. Who is Dave the Frog, and why has Dave the Frog got something to do with you? Dave the Frog that's in, in my mouth. Well, this is what I hear. What is that story? Right. Um, <laughs> so we have to do red carpets all the time and take pictures, and yeah. I find it very awkward when they're all shouting at you and stuff. And uh, a fan of mine tweeted a picture of me saying, Tom Holland looks like he has a frog in his mouth <laughs> when he's taking paparazzi pictures. And I thought it was hilarious. So I reposted the picture, which then went viral and everyone found it hilarious. But then weeks go by and I'd look at myself in the mirror and be <laughs> like, maybe I do look like I have a frog in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a frog. It, I, mean, this is the, I think this is the original tweet. This is you. Oh, <laughs> you can see that. You do look like something Aww. in your mouth. I think it's because I'm trying to go for the chiseled jaw kind of look. Oh, you're it's crunching. just not working. Yes. <laughs> I think that's what that was. You're crunting. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of how John and I do the record. Yeah. 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 Do the crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, Kylie, we've got to say, you are singing for us later. Yes. Yes. Uh, so what will you be, what will you be giving us? Um, I, well, as I've been slightly unwell, I may be giving you the husky rendition... Yes. ..of Stop Me From Falling. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. I should probably record my voice message, right, like I can speak very low. Yeah. Which I normally can't do. So, yeah, Stop Me From Falling, which is the second single. We'll talk about the album later, but okay. it's... Chock full of singles. Thank yes, you. it really is. <laughs> All right, uh, our first big film tonight. It's already being hailed as the horror movie of the year. Wow. Not just other people have said that. Wow. Uh, <laughs> a Quiet Place. Now, happily, it stars Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. This is great. We'll be able to talk about it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it, not just that, uh, directed and co written by yourself, yes. John. Yes. And congratulations to both of you. Thank you very much. Uh, because when you see this film, it is such a great premise for a horror film. So explain it to the people. Oh, me? You want me to do it? You do it this time. Well, it was pitched to me. <laughs> Just being clear. <laughs> this time. Yeah. This time. <laughs> we pitch it to each other every night at dinner. Um, <laughs> no, this is a, a movie about a family uh, that you meet who has to remain as quiet as possible. And you have to figure out why, and I'll give it away. Um, <laughs> no, they have to remain quiet because they are being hunted by uh, creatures not from this planet that uh, only hunt by an acute sense of sound. So if you make any sound, you'll be dead within 10 to 15 seconds. Which, honestly, it's terrible, because the movie, it, you know, it's, it becomes eerily right. quiet. And now, is it true that you guys, you practice this at home? <laughs> I mean, did we? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 
this story became as if like John and I are role playing at home. <laughs> yeah, I was the creature. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, make some sound. Yeah, <laughs> uh, because it is. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. Uh, <laughs> listen, we've, got, we've got a clip. This, this will explain really what it is. Uh, this is you and your family on a really lovely day out. It's a Beautiful. Lovely day out. Lovely day out. That's amazing. Oh. These movies. These movies are not forever. Like, Kylie Minogue, would you go to see this film? I'm, I'm beside myself already. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I couldn't watch that on my own, though. No. no, no. Well, hopefully, no one will be watching it by themselves. It'll do very well. Yes, no. <laughs> 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 uh, Tom, because Tom, you wouldn't. You don't like these films. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not a fan of horror. Support the film, yeah. Tom. <laughs> I'm something worse when it comes to this kind of thing. I would be the worst <laughs> horror movie director you could imagine. No. But no, but that's weird because John, you didn't like these films. No, not at all. I, I, am, I think the technical term is a scaredy cat. <laughs> and, um, I never saw horror movies growing up. Uh, I was too terrified. And obviously, I'm a huge horror fan now. If you saw my iTunes list over the last year, you'd say I think we have a problem. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, it's phenomenal. I, I don't think I'm. My name is the one that you see and say, can't wait to see a horror movie from that guy. But. The original script came to me, and it's actually uh, an incredible story of family. And so it's, to me, you can't tell by looking at the poster. We can show that again. Um, <laughs> but it is a love letter to my kids. It's, a, it's about what would you do uh, as a parent? What, what extremes would you go to to protect your kids? And it, is this true that this film you originally weren't going to be in? Well, we had just had our second child, and I was about to do Mary Poppins, and so I was in a sort of general feeling of joy. I didn't know if I wanted to go towards the darkness of the pitch that he'd given me for this film. <laughs> and then I, I'd mentioned a friend of mine to John when he pitched me. I said, oh, you should call so-and-so. And, um, and so he so -and -so did. So-and-so is so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So he did call so-and-so. And you didn't send her the script, admittedly. She wasn't sort of hired, but... Um, so close. But so close. <laughs> and then I read the script and I was like, you need to call her and fire her. <laughs> are you still friends with her? We are, until the movie comes out. And then she's like... <laughs> and, John, for you, obviously, lovely that Emily wants to be in the film. Absolutely. But yeah. as a director, is it then weird giving your life partner notes? It, it was weird because I was very nervous about it, to be honest. I think we both were. Yeah. Before we started shooting, she said, are you nervous? And I said, I'm terrified. And she said, oh, good, me too. Um, I think it's one of those things where people think because we're both in the same business, we have the same experiences. But I've actually never been on set with her, seen how she worked. I'd heard she was a diva, and I just... <laughs> <laughs> like, can't get Emily out of her trailer, <laughs> stuff like yeah. that. It's like, ugh. <laughs> and, um, no, but it, I think what it was is... And it, it sounds really sappy, but it's true. I think it's the greatest collaboration I've ever had in my career. I, I've never seen her work. And when you are actually in the room and she does what she does, it honestly, it changes the air in the room. Everyone is just completely and totally stunned by what she does. Oh, this is what I had to learn early on in our oh, that's relationship true. was that British people are notoriously terrible at taking compliments. Would you agree? Just like, that's that's actually what she did. The first time I was like, well, I just want to get out of the way. I'm a huge fan of yours, and she. Uh, went, oh! I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> cool at all. There was none of that, actually, uh, I don't know your work. You were a proper fan of it. Oh, I was, I was full stalker status. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, hey, you want to go on a date with me? <laughs> no, tell um, people, how many is this true? How many times have you seen Devil Wears Prada? I mean... Not 75. Give or take 72. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, it's one of those things that back in the day, us elderly people used to channel surf. <laughs> and um, no one does that What's anymore. That? But yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like I said, so I mean, cruel. Um, <laughs> no, it's just one of those movies that whatever, whenever you're going through the channels, you just stop and you. I mean, look. Has anyone seen the film here? Probably. Um, do you know there's, uh, people. People. there's a sort of montage sequence where Annie Hathaway's got numerous fabulous outfits that they yeah. go through. And John, one day, I came home and he was watching it, and and he was watching the montage <laughs> bit, and he goes, and that's my favorite outfit. <laughs> Well, I couldn't get Annie, and so I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, talking of meeting famous people, uh, Tom, you recently presented at the Oscars. I did, yes. And then afterwards, as if that wasn't enough, <laughs> afterwards you met, well, one of the most famous people in the world, one of the most famous women in the world. I had one of the most embarrassing experiences with Madonna. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was at the Oscars, I presented, it went well. You know, I went out afterwards to sort of celebrate and have a good time. I probably had one too many. And I was at this party uh, with a couple of my friends and um, an old friend of mine who's a manager comes up to me and he's like, Tom, 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 do you know Madonna? <laughs> and I'm like, funnily enough, no. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, come with me, come with me, come with me. So he drags me across this nightclub and introduces me to Madonna. Now, the whole way on the way over there, I'm going, what do I say? Uh, hello, I, uh, I had no idea what to say. So I get up there and I go, hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've come up with. I was like, hi, I'm Madonna, how you doing? I'm good, thank you, I'm well. And Jason can see me panicking and goes, Madonna, um, Tom is an incredible dancer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at him like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and she goes, really? Well, that's something I'd love to see. Show me. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I have two options, right? I can just faint, you know, <laughs> just pass out, or I can take Madonna into the dance floor, dance with her, and show her my moves and just have a great time. Sure. You know? Me yeah, being an yeah. idiot, I went for option two. Yes! <laughs> so I take her hand, I sort of drag her into the dance floor, and as soon as I took her, I realised that this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big mistake. Now, I used to be Billy Elliot, and I used to do a lot of dancing, but that was all choreographed, you know? I didn't wing it. I didn't just go on stage and do a different show every night. So I start dancing with her, and... and there's not much arms involved. I'm just sort of doing a little two-step to try and, like, warm myself up. And she's so unimpressed. <laughs> she's so unimpressed that I just bailed and left. Ooh. I just can't do this. <laughs> you should have so fainted in the uh, right, I leave Madonna in the dance floor. <laughs> the next day, I'm telling my family on FaceTime, who's having a family dinner, about my evening and the Oscars. They wanted to know all the goss. And I end up telling them this story. My dad is wetting himself. My mum <laughs> is cringing. And then my little brother, Paddy, goes, who's Madonna? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy! she never sees this. I, <laughs> I think a lot of people do have their signature dance. Do you have... Is that your signature say. dance move? That... That. <laughs> you must do something better than that. That was my Madonna, <laughs> I'm stressing so much dance music. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I've sort of adapted the lasso yeah. thing into a Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got some... <laughs> Oh! <laughs> wow! Oh. All right, it hasn't worked yet. Yeah. Yeah. See that? I Madonna, know. only I've so done that. Fantastic it hasn't worked yet. Yes. It hasn't worked yet. <laughs> John, you look like a man who has a signature dance move. Of course I have a signature dance move. What is it? What is it? It's, uh... In order to dance without getting hurt, I stretch. So I just make the stretching into the dance. <laughs> oh, can we, can we see? It's called the lunge. Oh, oh it's got a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you the gotta... crunt lunge. Yeah, you, you crunt just... lunge. Yeah. <laughs> the crunch. You're gonna need some space. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no, oh okay. Do you want yeah. some music? Do no, no. It's this? sure. Yeah, that would be less okay. embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. Do we have a bit of Kylie? Oh, do we have? Oh, is it Kylie Minogue? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a spare. Here we go. Spare Kylie Minogue. Yeah, come on. Do the lunge. That's how I, uh, that's how I met Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, auditioning for, for her tour, and, um, she said no. I'm not sure you want to stop that. I, I, I haven't asked you, do you have one? I you... don't have one. Yeah, yeah, Please do yeah. something after that. Nothing! <laughs> nothing at all. There. I have she said, you're the best. Oh, that's nice. That's she dancer. said. Yeah. I pulled a quad, so I hope I'm <laughs> that is, uh, well, I'm, not sure if, I'm not sure if the audience would top that. Let's see. Uh, so where is... Do I pronounce this Gemme? Jamee! Yeah, nice. That's nice. Jamee! Like Jamee! Like like now, Jamee, I don't know this dance. What's it called? The turkey. It's called the turkey. <laughs> OK. I uh, created it myself. You... Oh! She's a choreographer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, OK, Jamee has created this dance herself. It's called the turkey. When did you make this up? 
Today? Uh, no. <laughs> long time ago. Oh, long time ago. Sorry, so like this should be good years. then. You've been working on it. Okay. <laughs> no. uh, and what, what Kylie track have you selected? Um, I should be so lucky. Oh, beautiful. Not well, we're throwing oh. back. Okay. Throwing back. Okay. I hope it suits the turkey. Can you do it on the step? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Jemay giving hers her turkey to I should be so lucky. Have you ever got lucky doing that? <laughs> it works better with the sound. You gotta do like a go go go. Okay, that, that's not a dance move. That's just a turkey impression. <laughs> but still, when we do animal impressions, you'll be back. Uh, now, oh, 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 this is gonna be good. Where's Drew Donald? Oh, there's Drew. Hello. Now you are giving us two yes. moves. So the first one is. Um, prayer, prayer, catch the flower. OK, prayer, prayer, catch, catch the flower. The flower and OK, then, uh, and what's the next one? Please, sir, I've got a spider on my head. OK. Yes! OK, I feel like we've sort of seen them. But, uh... <laughs> OK, so uh, uh, what, what Kylie track are you doing them to? Spinning around. OK. Yes. OK, so, so, so the oh, first one, you're, you're doing prayer, prayer first. Uh, yes. We'll OK, so, so here's the music. Cummins. There's Rian. Now, I'm not sure, is yours going to be quite like the turkey? It's not, but it's, it's a bit, it's following the same theme. Okay, so. what's yours called? <laughs> it's called the boneless chicken. Boneless oh. chicken. So, so close, Tom. It's so close. But she took the chicken and she moved and it she on. she took it another level yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. This is the boneless chicken. And, uh, <laughs> and is this genuinely a dance you would do? I have been known to do it in clubs. Okay. So. Love it. And, uh, <laughs> what, what kind of track have you have selected? Um, be better the Devil You Know. Oh, better, oh yes. no. Wow. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Rianne doing the boneless chicken to Better the Devil You Know. Yeah. <laughs> Disrespect to the others, but the standard's been quite. <laughs> oh, <low. yeah. laughs> that took it to a different level. The bar was raised. Oh, that's for, oh, that is so so good. Thank you. That's <laughs> amazing. That was good. Excellent. Now, uh, Tom Holland returns as Spider-Man in the new Marvel spectacular <laughs> event. <laughs> 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 Um, was good, yeah. 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 Uh, Avengers Infinity War. It opens on the 26th of April. And so we get the idea of the Avengers superheroes come together. This is insane. Is it something <laughs> 40, 40 superheroes in the one film? It's something like that. It's so overwhelming when you're on set. Because are you ever all in one scene? Do you know what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> I, I did a lot of my scenes with Benedict Cumberbatch with someone else, with just dots on their face, who I guess later on in the process will become Benedict Cumberbatch. So I don't actually know the answer to that. But now, so, so can you tell us anything about this film? <laughs> you may as well ask me about quantum physics. <laughs> <laughs> but is this true where they... they de but <clears throat> are you one of those people they deliberately don't say plot details to? I am. I, I definitely am. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, did, but did you let something slip in the past? Why do they think you're going to tell everyone? I just tell everyone. Oh, <laughs> there's countless things that I've spoiled. And uh, I just wasn't allowed to read the script, you know? So I'd be on set and I'd be working with actors and actresses that were just tennis balls for that day. So I'd be texting people like, hey, are you in this scene with Spider-Man? And they'd be like, no. I'm like, OK, cool, I'll just cross that one off the list of 40 people. <laughs> are you in this scene? So I just basically had to do a lot of background research to figure out is what it like, I was doing. Is there, like, a superhero WhatsApp group? <laughs> <laughs> if there is, I'm not in it. <laughs> <laughs> I just 
did fight scenes by myself, imagining what would happen. Have you seen this film yet? No, I haven't even read it. <laughs> I have no idea what it's about. Which is actually quite fun, because I get to see ticket it. for one, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this will be exciting. This mm. is a clip. And <laughs> you're in it. Wow. <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, OK. Uh, this is you as Peter Parker on the school bus. I remember this. <laughs> That's all me, by the way. Yeah, it's all me. <laughs> Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Thank yeah. you. So, the excitement of being Spider-Man, because this is your third, fourth, third? My third. My third, third yes. So, is it still as exciting as it was, or are you a bit kind of blasé about being Spider-Man now? No, I mean, you can't really. I mean, I remember seeing Avengers 1 with one of my best friends, Tom Hutton, in the cinema as a kid, so excited, and now I'm in it. You know, I'm walking around with Iron Man and Captain America and I can now kind of call them peers and stuff. So yeah. it's, it's still pretty surreal. Um, but uh, this one's definitely been a whirlwind. It's been insane. And what's sweet is, because I think a lot of actors, when they get roles like this, they mm. have to say, oh, yeah, no, it's a thrill. Da, da, da. <laughs> but for you, it, this is genuine, because you post these incredibly sweet pictures. Uh, this is you as a young boy. Aww. 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 I mean, you are playing with yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but that is so sweet. And then this one, this is amazing. You were, I think, back in your house and you found this. Yeah. Oh. And so that was genuinely yours. That was my first ever Spider Man costume, yeah, which my lovely mum, who's here tonight, kept for me. And oh. now, were you one of those kids who like wore it to funerals and weddings and things? <laughs> I, was, I slept in that thing. That thing still stinks today. There's <laughs> no washes that can make that thing wearable. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, <laughs> Am I, am I right in thinking that the Spider-Man outfit, is, as, it, as we knew it, is gone now? No. Well, yes, yes, it is. Basically... Spoiler! <laughs> uh, <laughs> essentially, in this film, I have a new suit, which Tony Stark gave me. It's an upgrade, and uh, it's too fantastical to exist in real life. So, I essentially... There it is. That's the first time I've seen it. Wow, it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Are you no. glad you came tonight? I know. Yeah, <laughs> that is so much. Um, it looks nice. Not, is, is that metal? I don't know, Graham. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, essentially, I have to wear... Essentially, pyjamas. I wear these pyjamas with balls on them that light mm. up. And it's super cool. It's not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm on set with the Avengers who are wearing costumes that, you know, cost the hundreds of thousands of dollars made by the best seamstresses you can imagine. And I'm there in a suit made by Marks and Spencers, you know? It's just... It's, Marks and Spencers is an English... Old. Of the highest Go quality. <laughs> Graham's there. Right. Absolute autograph collection. Hello. Yeah. Um, <laughs> seriously. Actually. Oh. Oh, thank you. Uh, because, John Krasinski, you were nearly in this world, weren't you, the Marvel world? Wow, make me feel great. <laughs> He's like, look at this poster. John, you almost hit that. <laughs> you almost got that level? Um, yes, I was uh, probably, you know, 16th choice for Captain America. But you were in the costume and everything. I mean, you got pretty close. Yeah, I got to the suit. It was, uh, it was a pretty big day for me. I was nerding out completely. And I, I got to say, for a split second there, I was feeling really good about myself. <laughs> <laughs> this guy comes up and they give you the suit. You get it. Um, <laughs> they give you the suit and I was actually putting the suit on and I was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. And through the hallway came Chris Hemsworth dressed as Thor. And he was like, you all right, mate? And I went, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Like I ate a burrito before. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, when you see Chris Hemsworth with um, next to no clothes on, you don't want to all of a sudden be like, I want to take my clothes off. Too. Well, imagine how I feel though. These are tall blokes. They're like tall, and I'm not that tall. I remember doing a scene on a planet, and there's all these like little dips and rocks and stuff. And I just said to myself in rehearsal, just find a rock. You know, the shots <laughs> waist up. Just find a nice rock, and it'll be fine. First rehearsal. I hop up on the rock and I'm working with Chris Pratt. You know, Chris, he's yeah. huge. So sweet. I was like chin height. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy here. <laughs> and then they're setting up the lights and stuff. I'm hanging out and I end up in a hole. No. And I said to myself, just make sure that you're not here when they're action! <laughs> Everyone explodes to life. And I literally stood in this little hole. <laughs> already smaller than all these people. And I'm going to be polite. I was waist height. <laughs> and I spent three days like this. <laughs> it was awful. And, and let's not forget, 
Kylie Minogue's kick ass work in the seminal film <laughs> Street Fighter. <laughs> and, oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, we've got oh. an action shot. Let's see. Then the next one. The next one's even better. Let's see. Next, look at her go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That looks like it hurt. Yes. Yeah. No, because when you did that, did you kind of think, yeah, yeah, Kylie Minogue, action star, I'm going to do this? Uh, no, I was mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> but did it feel but the good? training was fun, yeah. yeah. I, got, I, they, like, I mean, look, I'm just so puny, they had to really build me up. Um, and my, yeah, my, my body changed shape and I was really strong. And did you keep it up? No. No. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, now, Emily, you've done some action films. We, you've been on here talking about them. But this December, you take on one of the greatest superheroes That's of all time. That's true. Mary Poppins. Yes. <laughs> um, which is, yeah. a, 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 imagine, equal, you know, sort of cool and terrifying at the same time. Well, it, yes. It, I think it did feel quite terrifying at first. And Rob Marshall, who d directs this film and he's absolutely fabulous. He is a friend. I'd worked with him before. He called me and left this very ceremonious message on my phone. He was like, Em, it's Rob. Call me back. <laughs> so I did and he was like, we're doing Mary Poppins and I want you to be Mary Poppins. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so thrilling and, and, and scary, you know, because I think she is so iconic and Julie Andrews is so iconic that, you know, it's a big thing to take on. But ultimately, it'll just be my version of her. And this version is mostly filmed here, am I right? We filmed everything here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Everything in London, yeah. So, John, you got to spend time here. Absolutely, yeah. Now, is it correct, do we need to apologise? Were we not that welcoming to you? No! <laughs> no, most people are so welcoming. <laughs> um, but... Customs agents, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> I'm sure customs is a pain for everybody, right? It's a little mm. bit of like, I got somewhere to be. No, you guys love it? <laughs> they live here, it's quite easy to yeah, get in. Like, <laughs> you just walk through. Yeah. I'm in the line of 1800, waiting for my, uh, No, I, w I went up to, when she was shooting, I was shooting something in Montreal, so I flew back to see the kids and, and my wife. Um, and uh, I remember yeah, going through cool. customs, everything was fine, and, and then one week, just got unlucky, and there was a guy about my age, seemed a bit grumpy, and he said, um, let me see, he said, yeah, he said, uh, you an actor? And I said, yeah. He goes, what do I know you from? And I said, I, I don't know if you'd know. I mean, we did the American version of your British office. Strike one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> the UK version. I was like, I get it. I get it. <laughs> and then he said, uh, who are you visiting? I said, my <clears throat> wife. And he said, is she an actress? And I said, yeah. He said, uh, would I know her? I said, I, I don't know. And he said, what's her name? And I said, Emily Blunt, as he was writing something. And he went, you? <laughs> <laughs> You. <laughs> went, yeah, and he goes, all right, get out of here. <laughs> and, like stamped my passport with a fury. <laughs> John, also, I, I did encourage him that he would be welcome more if he stopped wearing a baseball cap, because I just said, you look so American. <laughs> Nobody wears baseball caps. Oh, that makes it better. You look so American to take off the baseball cap. No, I was cap. just wanting you to blend in a That's bit. That's just so... called prejudice, is what so... it is. <laughs> But he went out and bought himself a tweed flat cap. Mm. No, he looked awesome. Was that good? No, no, he looked like something out of a Guy Ritchie film. You look great. And he walked down the street, <laughs> and it was like the sun came out, because suddenly a guy turned to him and he went, all right? What, the <laughs> what does that say about your country? That it's like, well, if you lose the baseball hat, get Just a flat cap. Just wear tweed. That's what it says. <laughs> that's what you need. It's that simple, then. And was it nice, because presumably having your children spending time here was yes, quite nice. Yes, Because are they American children? You said it kind of sneering me. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is getting weirder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> put your cap on, you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. You look dry heaved. You were like, are they are they American? Have <laughs> yeah. you given birth to? <laughs> oh, God. It's worse. Hat. Oh, God. It's, it's worse in the film. <laughs> and then an American came out of her. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they are. Semi-American. Yeah. <laughs> they did become um, quite. Uh, well, my oldest daughter became quite British-sounding over the course of the year that I was here for Mary Poppins, and she was sort of saying things like bath and water, and now she's back to water. Look, <laughs> 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 no, apparently, if you want the posh English voice, Kylie, no, you have a trick. Is this is this like the boneless chicken? Did you develop this trick yourself? Uh, if I, yes, I did. I don't know why, but um, to sound very British, but 
more specifically like a couple of pims by 10.30 a.m. kind of British. Oh, yeah. You just don't let your lips touch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> some words are a little bit more difficult than not. <laughs> but, like, honestly, I guarantee you a chat. You're going to find it. It's, it's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Try it, Graham. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I've had several pins. <laughs> <laughs> now, news time approaches. Uh, Kylie, this new album, <gasps> which I have an actual copy <gasps> here. Yeah, Golden. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it. <laughs> and, uh, it's finally out today. And you know, I was lucky enough to hear some of it earlier, and you know how much I love it. So, um, the reviews, I mean, you must be thrilled. Everyone. This is... um, I'm pretty chuffed, yeah. I'm just I'm pleased that it's worked. Yeah. You know? It's such a... It's, I guess it's like making a film. It's such a journey to even just launch into it again, like the 30th year of my career in music, to go, can I do this? Uh, yeah, I think I can do it. I'm really happy with the result. Because you talked about how personal this album is, and a lot of the tracks are... I mean, really love, like, this, so, love letters to your fans, yeah. there's songs about your relationship with music and things. But I read an interview where you were saying that when you started writing the songs, they were just too personal. They didn't work. They were rubbish. And I'm really glad they were rubbish, because I'd just gone through a breakup, yawn. And, um, and so I kind of just got all this stuff out of my system. And then, you know, I'm searching for the song, searching for what's, what is the DNA of this album? What's it going to be? And kind of six months in, got to Nashville, and it all made sense. And by that time, I'd reclaimed myself, I felt. Great. I felt absolutely so happy to be working and kind of, you know, um, on my own path again. So it, it transpired that the, the good songs came later, which I'm really happy about. Yeah. And the yeah. title is such, it's such a great <coughs> title for an Thanks. album, Golden. <coughs> it's, you know, because it's a yeah, uh, picture. Yeah. You're yeah. so beautiful in that picture. Oh, thank you. Go. <laughs> Kylie Golden. 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 Available <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a sweet thing, kind of going full circle, mm. uh, that in uh, Australia, mm. the album's going to be promoted by your original label from 30 years ago. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I signed with um, a company called Mushroom Records in 87. This is a long time ago. Right. <laughs> 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 like, I've, yeah, Actually, this is kind ago. of cool, because see this album? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's older than him. <laughs> that's quite something to do an album that's older than a guest. Wow. <laughs> look at that hat. Well, you can't look at that without... What it... The what brim it? hat. Yeah. It's, just it's not a really brim. a hat, is it? It's more of a it's just a... It's a brim. A, it's a brim. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the thing. I... I probably not. Yeah. But that's <laughs> your hair, though, right? That is my hair. I was going to say, I was like, great for calling taxi. Maybe a dog, a dog, yeah. dog is Sheep dog oh. trials in Australia. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but, the, but, this so, is the, uh, but this is the album that started it all. Yeah, it did. God, I can't so believe it. Cute. So I signed with um, this company... Yeah, in 87, so it's over 30 years ago and, and I'm still releasing records with them in Australia. Well, listen, the time has come. Uh, would you like to make your way over to the Absolutely stage? Absolutely well. Thank you. Performing, Stop Me From Falling for her album Golden is Kylie Minogue. <laughs> the, um, the album is out. People can, people can buy that music now. Yes. But uh, presumably you are touring. You're doing a big tour. Is it... September. September. Yeah, UK and is it and UK, Ireland? Ireland. Mm -hmm. And I'll middle? be stealing some of the dance moves that I learned tonight. Of so. course. <laughs> I've already trademarked them in the break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that boneless chicken, that yeah, is all yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, is it uh, like people can book and everything now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very so. much. Kylie Minogue, everybody. <laughs> so, stunning. Uh, right. Nearly it. But before we go, just time for our first visit of the series to the big red chair. Uh, who's there? I don't know if you warned John about this. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, what's your name? My name's Will. Will, lovely. And where do you live, Will? I live in Kent. In Kent, right. Yes. And what do you do in Kent? I'm a consultant, management consultant. A management consultant. OK, yes. off you go with your story. So I was in an airport lounge with my dad, um, and he goes off to the loo, and uh, I see Robbie Williams. So I go over to him and I say, <laughs> Robbie, can you make me look cool? Can you come over to me and say, hi, Will, how are you? <laughs> so I go back to my seat. My dad comes out of the loo 
Sure enough, Robbie comes over and says, hi, Will, how are you? And I said, fuck off, Robbie, I'm speaking to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> And then he, he turns on you. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I'm jumping for one more. One more. Okay, one more. One more. Here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, what's your name? George. My name's George. George. Lovely yeah. George. And uh, where do you live, George? Uh, I live in Peterborough at the moment. In Peterborough at the moment. Yes. Well, at you any know. moment he could move. Not something like that. Really, it's a Winnebago. But uh, <laughs> you know, he's just, that's where he's parked at the moment. Uh, and what do you do in Peterborough? Uh, I'm a teacher. A teacher of? Uh, primary school. A primary school. Like, yeah. uh, all the ages? Um, usually, well, the upper, upper end, so 11, 12 years. Oh, OK, the ones that can talk. OK. Yeah. Well, <laughs> some, some, some. <laughs> uh, OK, off you go with the story. Um, so, this is probably the most mortifying moment of my life ever. Um, there was one day where the children just pushed me too far and I just thought, no, you're sitting in silence, I'm not having it. Um, and there was one boy who's usually quite studious and he was doodling in the corner and I thought, absolutely not, I'm going to make an absolute showcase out of this. So I brought him up to the front um, and he brought his doodle with him. And I did the classic teacher stuff of, you've made a mockery out of your education, you've made a mockery out of the education of everybody in this classroom, <laughs> probably going ham on him. Um, and then uh, he started crying, and I thought, oh, why is he crying? That's funny. But I thought, maybe I'm getting through to him, finally. Um, and the rest, of, <laughs> the rest of the class then noticed, um, at the same time that I did, that the doodle he'd been drawing said, R.I.P. Nana, and she died recently. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk. Oh, I love that story. Contact us via our website at this very address. That is it for tonight. Please say a huge thank you to all my guests. Tom Holland, everyone! <laughs> Kylie Mundo! <laughs> John Krasinski! <laughs> and Emily Block! <laughs> Join me next week with rock legend Roger Dalton, Sherlock and Hobbit star Martin Freeman, Oscar-nominated Brit Naomi Harris, and the mighty rock himself, Dwayne Johnson. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye! <laughs>